If I could have your attention for just one second. If I could have your attention for just one second. Please find your seats and settle down. The meeting will begin in just a few minutes. Feel free to speak amongst yourselves until the presentation begins, sir. Fabergé and I'm the candidate. I just wanted to take a moment to thank you all for coming and uh, to express uh, to express my sincerest thanks to each of you for being here in demonstration of your commitment to participant democracy. Whether you're here uh, to cheer or cheer, we're just not, it's nice to have you. Now I'd like to ask some questions about the city that we live in. The province that we live in. The country that we live in. Let me ask you, sir, with the phone. Uh, before you saw one of the new Toronto Street map boxes that are more advertisement than information, how often were you consulted before uh, their erection? Uh, you, sir, with the, the weird hat. When you're asked by someone who lives outside of Ontario where they can buy liquor at 9 p.m. on a Friday night, and you watch their jaw drop when you say, at a bar, do you think that's uh, the collective will? What? Does the discordance between the federal government policy and the consensus reached by our national medical and scientific organizations give you concern for your national identity? Exactly. Why is it that politicians who get elected based on a subway or public school funding or a financial meltdown determine most of the policy that happens in our cities, our province, and our country? that seem relentlessly contrary to the popular will or best interest of the public. So stop voting for them and vote for yourself. If you elect me, I will be a tool of your consensus. It will require your heightened participation, weekly meetings, which all are welcome to attend. I encourage you to attend. Absolutely every decision will be reached, subject to ratification by all available masses. We'll create a model by which all decisions by your elected representatives are yours to own. I'm sorry. I hope you'll help me. Uh, does anyone have any questions? Yes, hi, 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 hi. Actually, I do. Hi, 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 hi. I'm Cynthia Cramshaw, and I absolutely have a question from the Nationalistic Post. I oh, sorry, I think, uh, oh, sorry, I think this young lady had a question. Hi, I'm Holly Snaps from Then Magazine. How is this any different from a fascist dictatorship? Well, it's totally different. It's populist. Well, sure, until populism turns into pugilism. Who's really pulling the strings? No one. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I have this thing, actually, that you can come and have coffee with me, and we'll talk about whatever issues you want for as long as possible. So if you want to make a coffee date for this weekend, or... Um, I'm sure we can conduct correspondence adequately through email. <laughs> Okay, uh, any other questions? Hi, Cynthia Crapshot. Uh, Hi, I'm uh, Brooklyn Cambridge from Girl Blog City, Girl Blog. What are some <laughs> trends you think might emerge during the course of this campaign? Uh, well, uh, hard work, honest uh, consensus, and ratified democracy. Any um, colors or uh, patterns? <laughs> uh, rain rainbows? No, well that says it there, doesn't it? That says something. No, uh, green? Well that's a giveaway, okay? No, no color. Okay, uh, Mr. Mr. Fabric. I'm in love with Alex Tindall. Tindall! One second, sorry, one second. One second. As, as everyone in this room can plainly see, I am a painfully attractive man. 
Will I experience any of the preferential treatment I've come to expect in my day-to-day -day life at your town halls and ballot boxes? No, no. Absolutely not. Your vote will be equal to everyone else's. Any other questions? Absolutely not. I'm sorry, I think this lady had a question. All right, this is getting a bit much. You went to her once before. I would love a chance. Uh, it's kind of like Jeopardy. I just take the quickest person. Okay, so. um, Mr. Fabergé, have you ever worked in the banking sector? Uh, just as like a temp. Uh, oil or asbestos industry? No, look, uh, I don't want to seem pushy, but if you're that interested in my personal life, uh, maybe coffee like date. really like we have a coffee date and we really get into more of a conversational and uh, substantive look into who I am. You can bring someone else. You can invite whoever you want. I'm really allergic to mugs, so I don't do that. So uh, Mr. Fabergé. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> uh, Mr. Fabergé. I'm one of those cyclists, cyclists who only ride fixed gear bikes and won't shut up about, about it. It doesn't respect any automobile's right to exit. Exist. Exist. Sorry. <laughs> Do you have any change? Okay, no, no. This is this is getting ridiculous now. Okay, Cynthia Cramshaw determined to make a point. Okay, the obvious flaw in your logic, Mr. Fabergé, is that old ideas have stood the test of time and therefore are something we can trust and believe in, and new ideas scare people and cause you to put on stress weight and therefore get in the way of procreation. <laughs> Okay. And now speaking about old ideas here, Mr. Fabergé, I see that you've taken Mr. Phil Grand as your advisor, this gentleman in a smart tweet. And what a fine, fine example of populism in action. All right, this man deeply, deeply considers the wishes of his constituents until it actually has something to do with their livelihood. And then he turned coat and therefore proves that new ideas are, are just, you know, you know, put, putting a party dress on a piglet. Okay? <laughs> Think about that image for a second. Just share that image. <laughs> I don't use the word traitor unless I see some direct ad revenue coming towards me. But you, Mr. Grand, fancy tweed coat, are a great Canadian traitor. <laughs> Again from Girl Blog, City Girl Blog. This question might sound stupid, but I don't think that will be a problem because I've forgotten exactly what it is. There it is. Sorry. Uh, what is it exactly that you're running for? Oh well, that's that's the thing. We can uh, we can decide right now. But the whole point. <laughs> Me too. Just as I'm a tool for your consensus, the decision as to where that tool is best applied is also in your hands. Do you hear me? The tool is in your hands. The tool is in your... Take your tool in your hands. We'll put out the word, we'll have some meetings, and before you know it, we'll change the whole fucking system. Who's with me? Don't stop the chance. Don't stop.